Well, hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Ben. Today we're going to proceed with where we left and today we're going to create some new routes and we're going to be using um, or be doing a get request in Axios using um, uh, promise, promises in short. Um, instead of using the routes that we normally have, maybe a folder with our routes arranged well, we're going to use just an internal one with um, or just one in this page that will contain all our routes and uh, the route that I'm going to start with is um, let me call it user so we'll have to write our first endpoint here and it's going to be maybe simple compiler so we have app.get because we're going to test that one and I'm going to do users uh, pass in the request and the response then we'll just uh, compose our body here um, here we're going to just use the promises that I've said. So instead of using a sync, uh, which will be in, maybe in our next video, uh, we're going just to focus on working with promises. So inside of our configuration here, we had our Axios uh, instance, and we'll need just to paste our URL here. And I'm going to use the normal JSON placeholder um, API that's available for. Free. So I'll just bring the URL and uh, paste it here. So I'm going to paste that on there. Then now that is set, go to, uh, I'd like to have a guide here. So the first thing I'm going to do today is get using promises. And I'm going to, to pull out all the to-dos. So I'll just have some like this and then get all to do's uh, and then point is to do's so once the uh, instance is set with the required urls we'll go here and we'll have our http uh, which now carries our axios instance so uh, the http dot get and here we're just going to say to do's because we already have our base url on the instance remember then dot then here will pass data that is returned from axios and this is just the whole uh, response object um, then we have our catch here in case of an error so we we'll just pass in an error and if there's an error we want to respond uh, with the error message and also maybe log it for our own use so here i'm going just to log data and remember this data is uh, the whole uh, record i mean the whole object uh, that is returned uh, so since we are dealing with an api we're just going to have to send this back to our, ourselves now we can't send uh, just data like this uh, and i'll just simulate it like that first so you can see then here we we'll just need to return json and i'm going to uh, maybe do um error yeah indicate that there was an error first so let's say uh, error and maybe now pass the debug information and in axios it provides us with another method called to json which will now give us just the error stack trace and stuff like that so let me kick up uh, start my nodemon yeah perfect go to my thunder client let me change this to to those then my thunder client we had our first uh, instance uh, our raw first endpoint here so if we send we'll get hello world that one was already done now we'll run to those when we send remember we had an error so if you look here you'll see a very long error and then the uh, body which follows there so all we need was to access this data in case uh, of a success response so we'll just go back here and just change this to data dot data because that's what we want to return to the customer or to our endpoint so we save that then we'll go back and resend it and now you can see that the data is returned on this side so that's how we send a request and if you go through you'll see everything there yeah so basically that's how you send a request using json and you can remove all these uh, console logs now once that error or once we've run it successfully and uh, basically that's it uh, so we have used the uh, promises um, we'll look at the errors that are returned on our error object maybe in our future classes 
But today, that marks the end of our class. I hope you have learned something. I mean, this code will be on my GitHub. So go to my GitHub, learn everything you can, or just uh, clone this repo, and let's meet in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.